What I want to do in this video presentation today is talk about feeding the hypos. As coaches, we all have favorite maneuvers that we want to execute on offense. My personal favorite is to feed the high post because a fundamental series of movements that we teach is our post series and out of either our one four high offense or our open post offense as you'll see feeding the high post allows us to have post series movement that I have found is very very effective having the ball in the middle of the floor is a great place to be it gives you options strong side weak side it takes away help. It's it's just a great place to be. And that is why we place such a high emphasis on getting the ball in the high post. So there's a couple of ways we go about doing that. In our 1-4 high offense, our posts are stationed somewhere around the elbow areas. And when I'm talking about high post feeds, we're looking for a situation when the ball is somewhere in this area of the floor up top somewhere in the, what we call the point position, that that gives us the best angle to, to feed the high post. Uh, so if we are in the 1-4 alignment, our posts are generally moving up and down and working up and down the lane, trying to get, trying to get the elbow. So if we're on the right side of the floor, and the post feed comes in the, the post at the elbow, right elbow, uh, we get into our post series, which as you know from our previous video, you know, our strong side wing basket cuts and then goes to the other side. And our point man follows his pass and becomes a second cutter. And then we have a third perimeter player that's coming around. As you recall from the post series video, our posts are always working in tandem and working opposite. So if we've got one post in the high post area, our other post is relocating by the basket. So it's a relatively simple movement out of our high out of our one four high offense, just basically moving up and down the lane. And that even could include coming out and ball screening for the wing area or the point area. And again our posts work opposite. We ball screen, come out, uh, after the screen that post player rolls to the basket and then our opposite post would come up and fill the high post. So we're always looking to get high post action. Now out of our open post, uh, the movements are a little bit different, uh, but we're still, we still have the emphasis of the high post. Two ways that we've seen the post feeds be able to happen the most. Uh, if the ball is on a wing area, uh, following our cutting series, our weak side wing, when they go to the foul line, to the what we call the sweet spot or the X spot, to either pop out to the point or make a basket cut, they could potentially be open right at the foul line, and that's a, a, an opportunity for us to feed the post. If you're against them, playing a man-to-man -man defense and this cut happens and you're able to hit the post there, that defense is really not doing their job effectively. If you're playing a good team, don't expect it to get that. However, against a zone defense, this is a great method of attack, whether it's a 1-2-2 uh, or a 2-3 zone, uh, more, most likely. 1-3-1 is a little different as the strength's typically up the middle. Uh, but against the 1-2-2 two, two or the 2-3 zone or a box in one, triangle two, uh, that cut is very effective in, in, in being able to feed the high post. And once we feed the high post, it's the same thing. Our designated, our, our wing player, strong side wing makes the cut. Whoever our designated post player is, regardless of where they are in the open post, which as you know, has, is occupying five perimeter spots. Let's say they happen to be in this corner. If the ball gets fed to the high post, we still teach our post to work in a tandem. So that post is going to, that post is gonna fall is gonna follow that first cut kind of through and, and try and get right into the middle of the lane uh, to make a strong post up. Another great cut out of there, and since we're talking about someone in the corner, is if, if the ball is back at the point position, our post player sees an opening, 
generally, this is a great tactic. As soon as they say ball reversal, move on air time, and the ball gets reversed from the wing to the point, the post cuts to the lane and then flashes right up. So it makes a nice L type cut, filling the lane. A third thing that we've seen work very well is if we run our flare screen series. Come up and set a flare screen for this wingman. And they can go right into the high post area. Same thing that activates our first cutter, second cutter, third cutter series into our post series. So those are some tactics we use to feed the high post. The high post is something we strongly emphasize because I love the post series. I love the first cutter, the second cutter, the third cutter, and, and having those posts work in tandem. So that was the video on how to, how to feed the high posts. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.